In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I think is the best U-Trips defense right now out of the nickel over. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. I do videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. Also, if you want to get my full nickel over defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. Patreon um, is the best way to support me as a creator. For just $10, you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as any updates to those ebooks uh, throughout uh, or for as long as your membership is active. Nickel Over is one of, I think, 14 ebooks that we have in the Patreon. So if you want to check that out, the link is going to be in the description below. Uh, but this is my favorite U-Trips defense in the world. I've been getting a lot of questions about U-Trips and how to stop it. And uh, I actually don't... I, I I know it's a good formation. I, I actually myself run it some. Um, but what we're going to show you is really a simple way to stop it. We're going to talk about a couple plays today. Uh, we're going to talk about... Curl flat, scat, let me grab, um, let me see here, Y option wheel, and maybe pat slot out if we have time, okay? And then we're going to come out in this um, in this wheel play that people are throwing that is really good. So uh, Overstorm Brave is to play for nickel over, coaching adjustments, auto flip is on, zone coverage is set to match. The best pressure in the game is from nickel over. Don't let anyone tell you differently. In my opinion, um, it's the best pressure right now post-patch because it is inconsistently picked up. And when it is picked up, then your defensive ends will have one-on-ones. Okay, so you're going to get really good sheds. Um, and it also has really good alignment for trips tied in and u trips specifically. Okay, over Storm Brave. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch your defense. And you're going to bring this guy down right here. Okay, now from here, we can, if we want to put, uh, let me give you an example. So like, let's say we audible to cover three. You see, by and large, kind of looks the same. Okay, or we can create one. So we can run man or zone um, and be in good shape. Okay, so from adjustments, what adjustments do you make to, to stop you trips? What I like to do is very simple. We're going to shade, individually shade this guy outside. But I'm going to show you the first, the problem, and we'll talk about the solution. So this wheel route right here is really good. Um, basically what you're going to get is they're going to isolate it. And you see how that guy moves inside? They're going to essentially freeform. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. They're going to freeform the wheel route outside like they do in verticals out of bunch. Okay, and we'll talk about bunch another day. But uh, I do have that planned for this week. So we're going to give you some good bunch defense this week as well. Uh, but anyway, just freeform outside. You see he does that kind of dumb out thing. And this is uh, basically a touchdown. And a lot of times it is a touchdown in game. So um, they've got that. And then the other thing that happens a lot in this formation is the tight end. So the tight end is one of the better players as well, uh, as well as the running back. So maybe a setup, for example, that might look something like this. And then they'll motion block this guy. Okay. They're going to go now to their tight end over the middle. Or they might go to the running back out of the backfield, right? There's a lot of things they can do. So what do we want to do from a user perspective? Because if our user pulls over here every single time the running back goes on a route, they can do something like this where they basically put our user in position to have to go left and then they can throw right in that window. So how do you stop some of this stuff? You want to take advantage of... Uh, your safety and you want to kind of pull him into a better position that's really important the second thing you want to do is you want to bring this guy down so now we have the tight end cut off and then we're going to use her the running back now the last thing that we want to do is we want to sh individually shade this slot receiver outside and what this is going to do is on this wheel route now that was so powerful because we've shaded him outside what you'll see is they'll still be able to complete it sometimes, but you'll actually intercept it sometimes too. That route now becomes significantly harder just by individually shading him outside. You don't want to globally shade outside because U trips is a lot of slants and posts, right? What we want to do is just individually save the slot outside, and what that should do is cut off the wheel. It should also cut off any corner route, um, but we're not so out leveraged across the board. So now let's say they give us a concept. You know, that looks like this. Obviously, we're going to have really good pressure here. But that route right there is no longer going to kill us um, on this formation. Now, let's go to another play that is po very popular uh, for U-Trips. 
and that is a tight end out route at a Y option wheel. Uh, so again, we shaded uh, individually shade outside that one player, uh, and then we're going to go to Y option wheel, and we're going to uh, put this guy on a snap throw slant. And essentially, what you're going to see here. This time they're going to block this guy, so I'm not going to. Don't worry too much about the user interaction. But essentially, if the running back goes on a route, you need to go guard him, right? Um, what we can do here is when they do this motion, this tight end out route is really it's probably the best route they have. But again, there's little little things that we can do to take this away. And the biggest thing is just put this guy right about here with a little bit of outside shade. So when you bring him down. Just make sure you shade it a little bit to the outside. I like to back off the outside receiver. Um, I just think it's better. Uh, you don't have to, but I I like to. Uh, and again, let me go. To, let me go to a different play now. Um, we'll go Y option wheel, but we'll run it a little differently. You know, we'll just take. Well, no, we'll run it the same. Uh, but anyway, you're gonna lurk the running back to the quick throw slant. Obviously, the pressure is coming in quick, and that's gonna be a difficult play to hit. Now, uh, let me go over one other one with you guys. So, again, out of the same basic the same basic alignment, okay, you can back this guy off too. So, we can only press the slot if we wanted to. And we can manually back off both outside players. That will help significantly with any kind of glitchy fades that they might want to run. For example, Pat Slot Out has a glitchy fade. So, you know, you might get something like this. Now you're in a position where you still have good coverage on that guy, uh, and you see that everything here is going to be pretty much bagged for the most part. Okay, so that is uh, really my favorite defense. So again, what you're wanting to do against U trips, and, and really, um, and then I'll give you a change up defense that I really like as well, is you want to send heat. Uh, you want to blitz this formation, in my opinion, this year, um, and you want to force them to have to block a running back or a tight end. Because those are the two best players in the offense. So if I'm playing something like scat, you know, where we do we do a, a route combo like this, you'll see here we're going to live with the tight end out route. I would rather them throw a five-yard out route, right, than a streak up the field for 30 yards. So I'm going to kind of, like, live with the out route. And what we're going to do is at the right time, okay, at the right time, we're going to essentially do some things like this. So let me give you an example. So let's say, um, you know, they're running this and we want to stop, you know, we want to stop this play somehow, right? You know, maybe they're doing something like this. I don't know, but whatever. So in, in the right scenario, in the right scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to bracket the tight end by manning that middle linebacker up on him and then dropping this, uh, dude this slot into a either curl flat or hard flat and then we can take that safety and we can man him up onto the slot receiver so you see here we could do something like this now we're in a little bit different ball game and because we're dropping coverage might as well go ahead and man up the running back if we want or man up this outside player um or man up this this um this outside player for example and drop an outside third on this side so now we're going to bail into coverage. They're going to block their running back because they've been getting screamed at all game. And now you're going to see we have really nice coverage, bracket coverage on the on the tight end. Okay. So by at the right time, running some of these little quick man-ups out of Overstorm Brave, it's really going to help you stop a lot of what they're wanting to do out of U-Trips. So for me right now, you know, the foundational defense is simply Overstorm Brave, shade this dude outside, and I would bring this guy down a little closer so that he has better leverage to be able to take away some of the quick stuff uh, to the tight end. And then at the right time, go ahead and zone out and play that little chess game with him. So thanks for watching the video. That's my favorite way to defend you trips. And if you guys want to uh, learn more about the nickel over defense, make sure that you're in our Patreon. We'll go into some more detail on these adjustments, why they work, as well as give you other defenses that are really effective. So if you want to check that out, the link to sign up is in the description below. Ten bucks gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching. And if you want to sign up, head down to the description below and click the link down below.